Today we're going to show you how to make a ring of light board for the Xbox 360. As you can see uh, at the, the bottom of the screen, uh, we have tweezers, uh, a set of wire snips, um, the 0805 SMDs that we're going to use, a soldering iron, uh, the ring of light board itself. Um, this is not the board for the Xbox 360 Slim. And we also have some solder. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and remove the lights that are already on there. And the way that I always like to do it is just take a pair of these wire snips and basically just pull these ones off. You grab it and just rock it back and forth. It'll come right off. You don't want to try and do that for the middle one because you will ruin the pads. So what I do is I take my soldering iron and I add a little bit of solder to the tip and then come in here and you're going to touch both sides at the same time of the middle light and it will come right off. And then you can clean up the pads a little bit. Next thing I like to do is I like to prep the board for the rest of the lights. And what I do is I take the middle pad of each of these. Usually there's something sticking up and I kind of flatten it out with the heat of the iron. Of course you don't want to apply a lot of pressure to anything you do on these because electronics are pretty fragile. So here I'm just adding a little bit of solder to each of the each of the pads so that it makes it a little easier for soldering. I do this one, this one, and this one and I leave this one the way it is um, because of the way I solder it. Now we're going to actually solder on the LEDs themselves. Again these are 0805 SMDs. And uh, I've taken them out of the package and I've put them over here. I've got five of them. And we use the same size for each each pad or each light on the board. And um, it's important to note that this pad right here is positive. This one over here is positive. That one's positive. And then this one's positive. And then in the middle, the left one is positive. So you want to grab an LED with your tweezers, a good pair of tweezers will go a long ways. And you lay it down and you simply melt the solder that you put on there before and just put the LED on there. So once I tack one side down, I'll go and I'll solder the other side. And when both connections look good, then I'll move on to the next light. And what I usually do is I'll tilt these up sideways so that they're not laying flat. It seems that the, uh, that the light shows up better when you do that. Right there, I was just using my thumb to tilt the LED up. And this is why the 0805s are a lot better than the 0603s, they're a lot quicker to work with. Then on this last one, instead of soldering the outside pad first, I solder the middle one. 
uh, just because this thing is in the way so it makes it easier and what I do is grab a little bit of solder in my iron and I come over here and I just kind of flow this pad with solder and I'll stick to that side of the LED come back make sure the center connection is soldered well and then we're done with the outside four lights and then we can move on to the middle now the middle LED you always want to lay flat just like the original one was tack one side and then you want to flow both pads so that it it's soldered well. And that's how you make an Xbox 360 ring of light board. And you can change it to any colors you want.